Okay, so you can see you got the the 2000 Chevy in the shop tonight. I wasn't really going to do a video on this. But I guess I can do a, a quick video here. Kind of do an update. Uh, you can see you got the rocker. Cut out. Doing the uh, passenger side rocker panels. I got this panel ready to weld in. I actually went and bought uh, an inner rocker for this instead of making my own. And that really has saved me uh, a bunch of uh, work. Um, and this, this panel fits like a glove. I got this thing on eBay and it just, I mean it fits just amazing in there. Um, I got it all trimmed up, got my holes all drilled out, ready to spot weld this thing in. And uh, I'm going to get her clamped up in there, um, start spotting her in I guess. Okay, so I got my panel all welded in here. If the dog would get out of the way. Um, there it is. Spot welded in. Looks pretty good. So I'm ready for the outer rocker now. And uh, I got this all primed with my weld through primer. So this is ready to go. Okay, here's my uh, outer rocker. Again, it's got the weld through primer on it. I got all my holes for the spot welds that uh, are going to hold this thing down. So I'm going to get her clamped up in there and we're going to start welding her up. I'm going to do just like uh, I did on the other side. I'm just going to spot weld it to the top side of the rocker there. It's spot welded here and uh, and then I'm going to use my bed liner to uh, um, cover everything up. So like I said this side's doing really good and uh, I'm just going to do it the same way on the other side. Okay, so I'm in the home stretch of this uh, rust repair, finally. Uh, you can see I got it spot welded in here. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting um, uh, my seam sealer on the seam here that I made. Um, I don't know if you guys remember my last um, repair I did over on the other side but I freehanded and I stuck my seam sealer in the seam there. Um, I mean it turned out okay but I wasn't really uh, that happy with it so like I said before I explained in the video how I was going to do it. Um, laying some tape down long enough so I can work with it before it starts getting stiff because it starts to stiffen up pretty quickly. So I got enough tape there that uh, I can play with this stuff and get it nice and smooth. And um, I can make all kinds of a mess on this tape, but I can get a nice seam or a nice line where I want it and keep it off where I don't want it. So when I pull this tape up, you can see it is making a perfect, perfect uh, seam for me that uh, is really um, um, not taking me much time to do at all. Uh, I spent <clears throat> I spent way more time over on the other side trying to get uh, get a nice seam line, but this is this is turning out uh, much nicer and uh, actually it's going faster because of the tape. I don't have to be so careful so. Um, I got just that little bit of area to seam seal. Um, you can see I've done some uh, little bit of uh, bondo there on where I welded my seams. 
Um, not too critical. This is underneath the truck. It's I mean it's a rocker panel. So I mean perfection is not um, necessary down here. Uh, especially with the bed liner, it's going to hide pretty much any imperfection that uh, is going to happen down here. And then uh, it'll be easy for me to touch up uh, if it does chip off or something. So uh, I'm going to finish off this last bit of seam sealer here on uh, this section here. Maybe I'll set you up so you can watch me, show you how I do it. and. Uh, I gotta let this uh, seam sealer dry. I gotta check the directions and then uh, I can get ready for uh, the bed liner. Okay, so this is my last section of uh, seam sealer I'm gonna put down here. Hopefully, you guys are gonna be able to see this. I hope I'm not in the way. But basically, I'm just taking this and uh, just throwing it into my seam, pushing it down in there. Because uh, with this tape, I really don't need to be careful or anything. It makes it so much easier. I don't usually, I'll just take my finger and then uh, smooth it out, kind of pushing it into the the deal there. You gotta watch it because you can't work this stuff too much. Otherwise it starts looking bad. But uh, there I've got it. I believe I'm pretty happy with that. So I start pulling the tape. You want to pull the tape off when it's soft. You don't want to do it. Okay, so now the tape's off, I'm just going to take my finger and just do some detail work here, just to get it uh, perfect. And there we go. I'm going to call that good. Okay, so I am now ready for the, the bed liner. You can see I got it taped off. My seam sealer is all, uh, is all set up. And uh, like I said, I'm ready for the bed liner now. I'm um, just got to quickly blow it off because the dog's dropping sand in it right now but um is i got it all taped off and sanded down and all the uh 
paint edges and uh, any scratches um, that were in this rocker kind of feathered out so the bed liner will hide it and uh, ready to go ready to start uh, hitting it with the bed liner almost done with this this is taking way way too long but you know it, you start getting into something and uh, this is what happens this is why uh, it's so expensive to have someone else do this is because it takes time. Um, you can do it fast, but you ain't going to have as good a job. But Anyway, I'm going to uh, hopefully get this buttoned up here um, within an hour here. And uh, be done with this job. Have a, a solid cab on this truck. Okay, here's the bed liner I'm going to use. Same stuff I used on my other truck and uh, on the bottom, on the other side. Duplicolor. They have a more expensive kind that's, I think, more UV, um, UV protection or something in it. Uh, on the rocker panels, I don't think I need UV protection, so I just got the cheaper stuff. And uh, I'm going to shake this can up really, really, really good. Hopefully you won't have any problems with the spraying and uh, get to painting. Okay, got it uh, bed lined. Uh, I'm going to go take a break and uh, let this kind of um, dry somewhat and then I'm going to come and, and pull off the tape before it is completely dry. Um, I don't want to let it dry and try to pull that tape off because uh, I'm guessing um, it's not going to want to come off once this bed liner starts to get hard. So I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit so um, it ain't uh, really, really soft. And then I'm going to come and pull it off. Should leave me with a really nice um, line where the tape is. So um, I'll be back. Okay, I just pulled the tape off and actually I waited a little bit too long um, to do that and it kind of pulled up. Uh, you probably ain't going to be able to see it, but it kind of pulled up the uh, edge a little bit. So um, once it dries a little more, I'll, I'll probably just kind of tap that down. But it's, uh, it's, it's fine. It looks, looks fine. I like it. Um, Finally done. Finally done. Um, next time you see it, I guess uh, I'll pull it outside. The truck is absolutely filthy. Maybe I'll go wash it and uh, see what she looks like. So there it is, out in the daylight, looks pretty good, it was clean a few days ago, now it's dirty again, but I think it turned out real nice. Okay, so I had a guy comment on my first video that I did of uh, the rocker panel on the other side. And uh, he had some rusty rockers and he looked underneath and uh, his uh, inner rockers looked um, okay, he thinks. But um, my inner rockers, I thought, looked okay too until I actually started cutting into this and uh, found out the bottom of the inner rocker 
was too rusted to really uh, weld any metal to. So I I'm going to tell you guys that uh, most likely if your outer rocker is rusted out, uh, most likely the bottom of your inner rocker, the whole inner rocker probably ain't rusted out, but the bottom of your inner rocker is uh, probably most likely uh, rusted out too. Um, most of the time rust is worse than it looks. So um, that's a, a, another tip here. And another thing is that guy wanted to make all of his uh, uh, patch panels. Uh, I would suggest you do not do that. They sell all these panels for not that bad a price. So I would not make my own panels. Uh, this is already a very difficult job as it is um, cutting all this out, welding it in, um, seam sealing it, and then painting it. I mean, I mean, it's one heck of a job. So I would suggest not making your own panels. Um, that's just my suggestion. But uh, I guess um, I'm done with these now. No more rusty rockers. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.